G'day guys, welcome back to the channel and I want to say a big thank you to everybody that has subscribed to my videos or to my channel rather than that. Um, back here in the shop we have another case backo, four wheel drive version this time. With this one here we have a leaky hub seal behind the hub. So um, in this video we're going to tear that down, repair it and uh, put it back up to work. Let's get to it. Right, yeah. First thing, I'm going to drain the oil in the hub. Now I wait 20 minutes for that to drain. Now that's drained. Right. That's actually a good thing. Show you a trick to get bolts like that off. You get yourself a large punch. Bring it up so you can see. Go flat on the bolt. Give it a hard tap. Rightio guys, once we've got those two removed, there's two studs here that need to be removed. So we just put on two nuts to lock them in there. We'll get our chisel into these little location marks here. There you have the planetary gear for the, <coughs> the drive. We'll move that circlip to take out the sun gear. Rightio, so we've got 
the axle shaft in the center. Now here is a sun gear with a thrust washer, which I just dropped. Now we'll just take off those bolts and we'll This particular ring here, you have to put the bolts back in and actually use the bolts to press it back out. You see there's other bolt holes around the edge here and you just slowly drive them in and it will drive out the ring gear. And there you have it. So that's the ring gear. And then we have a wheel bearing. Wheel bearing. And then the hub. Still, we have the problem with is in here running up against it and you can obviously see it's full of gunk rubbish the main killer of a seal just rubbish old dirt gets stuck in the seal area wears it out and it just starts to leak so now we wait for the new parts to come in I'll clean this all up and we move on to the next bit Rightio guys, we're back here on the uh, wheel hub. I've cleaned it all up, degreased it, and um, new seal. Putting in a genuine one, because I don't trust aftermarket, especially on a seal like this. So you can see, you've got a lip type on this side, and a flat side, so it goes flat side in, like that. I'll just get a punch, and we'll push it in. All right, now that's in. I'm gonna put some oil on the rubber part here because that meets up with the spindle and I'll make it smooth, um, go on pretty smooth and we'll whack it in there.
But yeah, guys, I've got the hub on, bearing on. Now we've got the ring gear here. Just be mindful with the ring gear. Where is it? It has these locating dowels on the back, which match up to them. Three of them are smaller. One of them is actually got a bigger diameter, which goes into its own hole. So you line that hole up with the locating one in there. That's in there, that's the larger one. And we'll actually pull that one in in a minute. Let me put making sure there's no oil or grease because this is actually with RTV silicon it seals there's no gasket no o-ring so it solely relies on RTV so we'll just make sure it's nice and clean and dry that way we get a good seal You got the two locating dowels. Handle to get all the gears to line up. That's her. These don't have to go up too tight. They just hold it in place while the wheel's off. So, don't go too nuts. Otherwise they're just gonna get stuck in there for the next time we're gonna pull it off. Which is hopefully never. That's why I use genuine. Alright, 
We've got those on. Let's put some oil in it. Right here, so she's full with oil. As you can see, oil level is there. We'll just spin it till it comes straight. And you'll see the oil comes out. That's how you check the oil level. Well guys, that job's done. Uh, next job I've got to do on this machine here is uh, engine mounts. So I'll make a video on replacing the engine mounts, or how I do it. And um, I'll see you in that next video. Thanks for watching.